In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to plot points in the rectangular coordinate system. And you're probably already familiar with the two-axis system. The horizontal axis is the X, and the vertical axis is the Y. And this is so commonly seen that they usually don't even label them. But uh, you need to know that X is horizontal and Y is vertical. So we can plot an ordered pair point on the system and all we need to know is how far left or right to go and how far up or down to go to, to get to where the point belongs. And that's what an ordered pair does for us. It's called ordered because the X value always comes first and the Y value always comes last. X comma Y. And remember the X is horizontal and the Y is vertical. On the horizontal number, if it's negative we go left and if it's positive we go right. For the vertical number, if it's negative we go down and if it's positive we go up. And we have this axis, it divides itself into four quadrants. The top right where all the numbers are positive is called quadrant one and then we're going to continue all the way around counterclockwise and so this will be quadrant two this will be quadrant three and this will be quadrant four so start in the upper right where everything is positive and go one two three four counterclockwise okay let's try to plot a few points here I've got negative 2 comma 5 so since the X number is negative we'll go left 2 and up 5 let's count from the origin 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 we'll put a point here and I've labeled mine although we don't normally do that but I'm doing it for you here alright 3 comma negative 4 so from the origin 1 2 3 and then down four. One, two, three, four. Our point will go here, and I'll label it for you. Okay, zero, uh, seven comma zero. So this says to go right seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and up none, up zero. So my point's going to be right here on the axis, and I'll label it. Now notice that every point on the axis, on the x-axis, every point would have a y value of zero. Because to get to these points, we don't have to go up or down, we just stay on the axis. Okay, my next one, negative six comma negative two. Let's go left six and down two. And so there we have negative six, negative two. And for the last one, zero comma three, We'll go left or right, none, and up three. So that will say one, two, three. Our last point will be here, zero comma three.